Okay, so moving right along from the CDXs, we got two out of four, and uh, he's probably going to order a laser or two for the other one. We're going to discuss that after he watches the last two videos that were put up. So we're going to open up this box from Game Trog, and these should be the model ones. We'll get into them and uh, see what's going on with them. Okay, so I just got the box open, and that is uh, that is kind of awesome. I really, 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 really like that. And there he is there. There's his shop and everything. That is quite amazing. I love that. Absolutely love that. So, we'll move this aside here. And, uh, ooh, he's even got his own stamp on here. That is beautiful. Okay, I'll save you the one, two. Okay, so we got three. We weren't sure if it was three or four. He couldn't remember. But we got three here. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and we'll start. Okay, so it happened to be the one that was closest to me. He ended up being the first one on the bench. And, uh, oh, yeah. I can see right off the bat, um, woo, it's kind of dirty. So it says disc tray won't open. So I'm assuming that it at least boots, right? Starts with your ready, then hit your access light green, then red, right? Uh, I can tell you that that gets a little scary when I start to see stuff like that. Because I don't know if that's mouse poop or what. I can't quite tell but I've seen my share of mouse poop and that is exactly what that looks like so if that's any indication of the outside I wonder what the inside's like now uh, I will say this it doesn't look I mean the outside yeah she's, uh, she's a little beat up I don't think that's anything I really can't handle coming to uh getting it clean but that's the outside um it doesn't look like anybody put the wrong screws in that usually happens here somebody put the wrong screws in and it'll bulge the the plastic out here let's just take a look to see what these screws look like let's see if anybody's actually gotten in here at any time if we can tell um i can't really tell but uh, it doesn't look like it the pins look good. They don't look extremely bad. Maybe some iffiness going on right here. Maybe. Uh, let me, I don't have my pick. No big deal. Yeah, maybe some maybe some corrosion going on there. No big deal. No big deal. I can get rid of that. So let's uh let's uh yeah, let's dig into this. Like I said, yeah, I can definitely tell. I think I think that is mouse poop for sure. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think that's hair. That's mouse hair and stuff for sure. So we're going to do this very carefully. <laughs> very carefully. I don't know what's going on there. Sorry, I'm just trying to see with my eyes for a second. Yeah, that's. I'm almost positive that's mouse poop. And there's probably pee in there too. That's usually what happens. So, okay. Uh, let's just take a look at the bottom real quick here. Let's see if we see any leaking or anything. Uh, let's look inside here in the screw holes. Let's see if we can't focus in on one of those. Maybe, maybe. No, it doesn't look like anybody's been in it. Sorry, I know sometimes it's hard to see. Yeah, that doesn't look like anybody's been in, but uh, who knows? If it's never been opened, that means we've got, you know we're gonna have leaky caps all over the subboard. Probably have leaky caps in the back. The disc tray. Oh, that sucks. This is why a good visual inspection is always required when you first... Ooh, I don't want to touch my face. <laughs> um, I can probably fix that, repair that. It won't be too bad, but I don't... I don't really want to fuck that up. I don't know if you can see that. It's also going to miss a chunk right at the top there. That's going to go too if I'm not careful. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Let me get this apart. Uh, I'll undo all the screws. That's what I'll do. I'll undo all the screws and then um, we'll lift it up together and <laughs> we'll see what happens. Well, I thought I was recording there for a second, but <laughs> I wasn't. I forgot to hit the record button. Um, so yeah, I don't think anybody's been in this because 
I got a really good virgin snap out of these four here. Let's just see if I can replicate that real quick here. Boom. That to me sounds like a virgin snap, like it's never, never been open. So that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Uh, so he texted me and said, uh, you know, he doesn't think anybody's been in it. And this one for sure, nobody's been in it. But when I tilted it over, oh yeah, listen to that virgin snap. When I uh, flipped it over, uh, I could hear some stuff rattling around in there. And that can get scary quickly when it comes to these because, well, if stuff's rattling around, that means stuff is inside it as in, I mean, there's no, I don't see any real way a mouse can get into the, what the fuck is that on the back of there? I've never seen that before. But uh, yeah, I hope it's not what I think it is. Let's see if we can hear that real quick. Shh, you. Can you hear? Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear something rattling around in there. So let's very carefully pop this bad boy off. Come on out. Well, I definitely see some rustiness. Uh, I don't want to flip that over. That's got to be clean before I even get into that um so yeah i see some rustiness for sure i wonder if we see anything on these uh on these pins here anything bad yep right there and i bet you that corresponds to these ones that pin right there those two green ones i bet you they correspond to the ones on here as well i can almost guarantee it um as for the rattling I don't see anything inside. Let me back you out here. I don't see anything right off the hop. Oh, I can hear it. It's down here somewhere. Let's remove the lock. And uh, let me get let me get this off. Let me get this off, and we'll uh, we'll go through it. Okay, we just removed the top, and I'm going to tell you right now that looks very very good very very good and so does what I see so far on the power supply all those caps to me look fantastic I don't see anything I mean once I take it off I'll know I'll figure it out but uh, yeah I mean that all that all looks really 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 good uh, might be a little corrosion going on right here on this DC jack I know you I can't see can you see it now right which is no big deal but if I look at these caps here yeah there's probably a little corrosion going on from whatever wherever this was stored but if you can see these caps look good they do look good I will test them but they do look good that little bit of stuff you see on where's my need something to poke at like for example, you see this stuff here, that's just flux. That's not bad. I don't see anything bad there. That's all that is. That's just flux from when it was first done. Just like this. That's all that is. That these look good so far. It's this that I'm worried about. So let me get this off and uh, we'll go from there. So I've never seen these before. I have never never seen these little straps here holding these in place i don't know if i've just never come across one that's never been opened or if this is some like older model or newer model or like newer version right of this that has these I, I i'm maybe just guessing i've never had one that's never not been opened so uh yeah we'll get that off and then get this shielding off yeah because i just i've never seen that before Okay, well, I am just in shock. I am just in shock. I don't, whoops. I don't see not one of these caps leaking. How can that be possible? Not one. Look at this. Not one of these caps is leaking. 
don't exactly know what the frig is going on there. That's bad soldering from the factory. But yeah, not one of these caps is leaking. Not, sorry, let me just zoom you out just a little bit so I can pay attention to where I am. Not one of these caps is fucking leaking. How is that even possible? Look. I am in shock right now. Not one of these caps is leaking. I mean, that is... These two are usually just destroyed. And look at that. They're fine. I mean, look at the, the ram. You can tell, like, nothing's been corroded. Nothing. Look at that. Uh, this is unbelievable. Like, you can tell it hasn't leaked anywhere. I wow. Okie dokie. And I'm just looking at, like, stuff like this, just in case you're noticing, like, stuff like this on the board. Again, that is just flux. That's just old flux. That's all it is. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Oh, this is wild. You don't see this very often. Okay, so... Uh, like he said, the tray just won't open, right? Well, if that's the case, let me get, uh, get a Genesis 32X, get it all hooked up here. And let's see if we can't figure out exactly what's going on with, with the tray here. If it's anything, it's probably just a bad belt. And that would be fantastic. I don't know if he sent me any belts or whatever. Maybe it's stuck or something. Maybe that's what caused that. I'm not sure. Ooh, why is that ripped up? You see that down there? Nobody's been in this. That's It's apparent. Nobody's been in this. So is that like that from the factory? Focus down there, would ya? That could be from the factory like that. What about on this ribbon? Let me zoom you out. Well, maybe a little bit. Not much, though. Yeah, I did my best to keep that stuff on there so I can put that back on. But, uh, yeah, I think that's from the factory like that. Oof. Well, no matter. As long as we have continuity through it, who gives a shit, right? So, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Let me get a Genesis, let me get this all hooked up, and we'll do some testing. Okay, we're all set up with the 9,000 million trillion wires that happens with these <laughs> Model 1s. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got everything set up right. I just want to just double check my power supplies, make sure everything's all right there. We're all good, okay, let's fire it up, see what happens. Signal's good. Oh, I heard the audio kick on, but we don't... Oh. Ooh, 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 What do we got here? Ooh. Okay, but we don't have any boot. That scares me. Yeah, we got something not right here. Yeah, something seems to be stuck there. The fact that we're not getting any boot kind of scares me. But the fact that that's happening is wild. Mm, okay, this might get real interesting. That's I don't like the fact that I'm not even getting that. That's what bugs me. Okay, so, um, let me figure some stuff out here. Um, again, you know, we have a little bit of corrosion here on the edge connector, right? But I don't think that's it because, well, I mean, it could be. That stuff does happen. But normally, if it was like a ribbon cable issue, right, uh, going from the sub board to the CD board, um, you would just get 
the background with the planets, right? No scrolling Sega logos or anything. Uh, if there was no power, which is that secondary ribbon, the small ribbon from the power supply to the subboard, this wouldn't happen. So, yeah, we've got something going on here. Give me two seconds here. So the first thing I just want to test is just to make sure this and this are okay. Um, if I remove it from here, I won't have any ground because I'm using the audio grounds in the back as the actual ground for video out. But uh, if I... How do I do? How can I show you here? I'll sit you up like that just for half a second here. Right? If I turn it on... Oh, with a cartridge in. Oh, it, it should be fine. Boom. There it is. There's the... What do you call it? But see, this is still coming in and out. If the cartridge is engaged, right? This should be... This should not happen. This should definitely not be coming in and out. So yeah, we do we do have a, a, a serious issue here. And a, it's a little more than what I thought it was going to be. Because again, this should not happen. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see the light flicker? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't tell me these fucking caps are reforming all of a sudden. Is that what's happening here? I can hear it wanting to initialize. Like in the audio cues is what I'm listening to right now. Oh, see? That pop lets me know that it's the reset line is happening. But for some reason, it's not booting. That's a reset. That should have been a reset. It did flick on for... Oh, you know what we know what we can try? You know what we can try? Just real quick. Just real quick. Let's see if we can force boot the CD. Oh, 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 did you see the... Look at the red light on. Go ahead, ask me. How are we going to do that? Well, I'll tell you how we're going to do that. We're going to go into BIOS, and we're going to jumpstart it with... It doesn't really matter, but we'll just... For example, we'll use BIN 2. Sega CD Model 2. Let's see if it boots. Let's see if it recognizes that there's a... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I just wanted to see if we could force boot that, and that's a new. That's a new, new. And we'll try it one more time here. Let's see if we can't force boot it. We'll use USA 2. Just see if we can force boot 2 again. Heard the reset line. So it is resetting. I can hear it in the speakers. The I can hear the reset line in the CPUs resetting. So yeah, that is happening, but we've got something weird happening here. Okay. There did you oh that's this. Sorry. But yeah, that I heard the reset line. Hundred percent. Just real quick here. Okay, tear down time. Okay, so I can tell you right off the bat, it's jammed. That's what it is. It's jammed. Now, why that's stopping this from booting, I don't know. But it's definitely jammed. Why it's not grinding, I don't know. But I can tell you that... See how that does that? That's fine. And if I manually move these gears... Oh, it dropped. There it goes. There it goes. It dropped. Okay. Okay, hold on. Because it was jammed up there. And normally that is... Um, mm -mm -mm, I don't have one out. But use that right there. That right there can cause that. I'll get down in here with uh, something you can see. Usually it's that that doesn't want to let go. That little worm gear here. This right here. 
I know it's tough to see, but this piece right here, which is controlled by this. So now that I got that free, let's just see what happens. Now it probably does, the belt's probably really, really screwed up from that. But let me get this back together and let me do a test real quick. Okay, and this is just for curiosity's sake. Yeah, so it's not even hitting, it's not even initializing that. It's not hitting the switches, but I'm surprised not. it's grinding. Or it's not grinding. That was definitely locked up. Does that look crooked? That belt seems okay. I'm not going to lie. That belt does seem okay now all of a sudden. That's not hitting the back trigger. Or the front. Well, if that's not happening, that means that that is not accept. It could be that it is hitting it and this is not accepting. Mm, I'm going to say we got a subboard issue here. Yep, I'm almost gonna I'm almost gonna assume we got a subboard issue here. Okay. Oh, actually I I want that out actually. When you're working on these, it's best to have the tray out. Be careful because you can bump the tray and fuck that right up. But it's best to have the tray out. That way you can see inside the drive and everything. Okay, whoops. I got you way zoomed in there. Okay, so what I did was first I took this off here and I just because we had that corrosion here on the top uh, set of pins, edge connector here. Uh, clean the living shit out of it. I just want to see if it makes any difference whatsoever. So uh, I just want to make sure we got video, audio. We got everything right. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. We got audio. Hold the phone here. Okay, okay. Oh, duh, 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 duh. Hang on, hang on. I didn't have the 32X plugged in. Fuck's sakes. Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey. Hey, hey, okay, that, if, <laughs> that little bit of corrosion I bet was enough to fuck this over, and I did, I mean, I cleaned the living shit out of it, so what I use, guys, is, besides isopropyl alcohol, is if I need to get somewhere deep and dirty like that, uh, and I do regularly clean this and wash this so it stays clean, is this right here, it is a bam... It is a bamboo toothbrush. This little bad boy here has just done wonders for the stuff I do. Wonders. Okay, now it looks like we gotta take care of... Oh, shit. Did it accept the fact that it was closed? No, it didn't. Okay. I know you guys can see that right, right here. It just... <laughs> She's willy-nilly up in here. She's just doing what she wants to do. I can almost guarantee you, even if I put a disc in, it won't. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, you know what I should do is let me get uh, let me get some mixing. Let me get a mixing cable. cable here. Let me just shut that down real quick. I guess I can put in right audio. Doesn't matter. Right? But I'll just get the mixing cable in here so it doesn't sound like complete trash. For some reason that really bugs me when it sounds like shit. So we got no lock so I'll just go ahead and just lift that up a little bit and keep that there so it doesn't get in the way. OK, 
Okay, I believe that that cured that. That little bit of shit in there was enough to fuck that right over. Okay, so now let's deal with this problem. Beautiful. So I guess I was mistaken about the what version or model this is because it does say 1.10, not 1.00. I don't know if you can see that up there. Oops. But yeah, so I don't know if it's just the Japanese versions that are 1.00 or if there are some American versions of it. I mean, we may have one here, but I think, I think there are some American models that actually have the BIOS chip socketed. Don't quote me on that, but I'm almost positive. I think I might even have one in an earlier video of one that has that, so. Okay, so yeah, let's get let's dig into this uh, drive. And again, you want it out when you're dealing with the drive, so cut it off when she's out. It's a lot easier to work on, trust me. Come on. I know you want to. Okay, I will be back. Okay, so we're going to see if this made any difference whatsoever. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We want some of that. Get on there. What is the matter with you? We're going to want some of that. And we're going to want some of that. Let's see. Come on. That's way out of whack now, isn't it? Yep, it is. Okay, so I'm going to have to adjust that. And I don't like the way that sounds. Ooh, that is rough, 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 rough. Yeah, so I knew something wasn't quite right. How in the fuck does that happen? That is below. That is, <laughs> look. That is below, way, way, way below. No wonder it's not hitting anything. No wonder it's not telling it where it should be and stuff. Holy shit. None of these are snapped off or broken. Sorry, I'm looking here. No, those are snapped or broken. That should literally come up. But look it. See what I mean? Like, that should come up like that, right? Well, this right here should literally be above. I mean, yeah, that's snapped. That happens, though. Oh, maybe that's why the front is snapped. Oh, look at that. Oh, can you see down in there? Look at how fucked up that is. Look how high. Mm. Yeah, I'm running out of battery here, so I can't turn my flash on. But look at the, look how tall that is off the bottom compared to that. Look at that. It's on a complete slope like this. That's why... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to charge my uh, camera up here, and uh, this has got to come out. This has got to come out. This needs to be fixed. Okay, so I just wanted to film this real quick before I uh, charge my cam here. Uh, let's lift the board out here. Or the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that is completely... Oh, yeah, that's completely off-center here. Hang on, hang on. Our... Let's get this ribbon cable out nice and gently here. And let's just see if we can figure out how in the hell, how in the hell that happened. Whoa. I mean, up here it looks normal, right? But as you can see, these are flush. Look at how warped that board is. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna, oh, this is fucking snapped off right here. Right fucking here is what snapped. This, and it, you know what? Isn't that coincidental that it's right where that, uh, 
the Sega CD uh, cover panel is right there. Okay, let me get that sat back down there very gently so I don't rock the boat too much more on that, and then I'll get that repaired, see what's going on. I'm going to have to charge my cam first. Okay, now I know this is going to sound wild, but it's all snapped here. Luckily, that piece is in here, so I can get that back together. That's not a big deal. All right, boom. We'll get that back together. No big deal. Now, hear me out on this. The fact that this is in such good shape on the inside with the the main caps and everything and the fact it still had those little stickers on it and stuff like that these what i'm talking about you know the fact that those caps and everything are so good never been looks like it's never been touched or anything focus right the fact that those caps and everything look so good wow you're just gonna be that way eh? you just don't want to play nice eh and the fact that it's got these stickers and stuff all over it. This is what's this is what's weird to me. The way that this uh, has happened, I was able to push this over just a little bit, this switch here, right? Just so that it wasn't resting on the metal plate here. Maybe I should just turn that on. Maybe that's be a little easier. Um and we can see. That if I had it where it was, which was up here, it was rested like this. That switch was rested on here. Does it not seem weird that when I push this over... I'm sorry, I'm just grabbing something here. If I push this over... Why doesn't it fall flat? Do you get what I'm saying here? If you look at this solder point right here. If you look at this solder point right here. Look at the way this one is. And look at the way this one is. That's not a cold solder joint. It's not like this tab was pulled through the board it was like this from the factory almost as if because it was like that it was under so much stress already on this angle that any slight movement would have caused that to just bust off almost as in like it was like this since the beginning because that just does not make any sense to me so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna desolder uh this here the motor part here and get this whole thing off and see if i can't figure out exactly what has happened here let me get the iron hot here because that is just that is so weird that i can push that down yet it doesn't want to stay there's no way like this isn't snap this isn't broken or anything. It's not snapped here. See how tight that is? There's I'm just theorizing here because I just that is that is wild to me. I do not understand how that happened. So let me get this off here. Let me get these two things off here and then uh I'll be back. Okay. So I just uh, desoldered that. Yeah, that's not broken. This is not broken at all. And that looks like it's on permanent warp. And I, well, let me back you up here. Let me turn that off. Let me back you up here. That's kind of on a permanent warp now. But I'm just going to go ahead and look through here. Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. So let me get this off. Okay, so that's nice and free. I mean, this has never been touched so much that that wire is still, like, perfectly crimped to where it's supposed to be. Okay, so this right here belongs like that. So it snapped off of... It snapped off... Let me see if I can get this turned around here. 
it snapped off of all three of these holes here and these two. Now, let's hope that this part here is okay as well because this is this all this plastic here is all a part of this holder here. And I'm hoping that once I get that back to normal, that when that goes to sit back on there, that that's not still bent to shit. So, give me a second. And, uh, first of all, let me, uh, I'll just, I'll just take this little sub, this little motor board and stuff off here. Oh, yeah, that's never been taken off at all. I'm just get that pressed back there for a second here. Let me get that out of here. I just want to get that just kind of sat on there just to see how it... I don't know if that... Per oh, there's still... There's still something that... I mean, it's, it's good now. Like, it goes through. It's definitely... Definitely through like it's supposed to be here. Right? But the... That warp is fucking wild. I don't really know if I'll be able to do anything about that warp unless I make sure that this is super pressed down so that these little the little holders here, the little tabs, really hold that in place. Because, I mean, this has just got some serious fucking warp to it. I think it's been like that for a very, very, very long time. Well, to the point where it literally warped that board. Like, you can see. Uh, you know, I could. There's not much, There's nothing really on this board. Right? I could desolder these here. The little tabs. The little switches, sorry. And uh, I could get this flat on a board. And run a couple hundred degrees over it and flatten it. And you see how fucking warped that shit is? Woo! I mean, look at that. It should be flat. A lot flatter than what it is. Huh. Wow. Okay, so the more I look at this, the crazier it gets. Uh, I actually got another drive here just to look at. And, uh, yeah. So, right in here... And that's going to cause some issues if I can't take care of that because I don't I don't exactly know how this is how this happened like this. Obviously, it snapped right here. I mean, that's that's no big deal. It, these little pieces of plastic like this snap, but everything's pretty much screwed and held in place like it's supposed to be. You can see where it snapped right here. No big deal. This, on the other hand lifted this high is this whole carriage that holds that worm gear in here i don't know i don't know if you want to call it a worm gear but it kind of is like a worm gear um very short one but still now if i look at a known working drive this one here right if i i know you can't see but if i look in i can tell that yeah okay even on this one this right here back here this is elevated a bit just like on the other one in this side but this all this right here is not elevated like that like it, i know it doesn't look like much but it should be flush it should be flush against the frame like this not lifted like this and this little snap here of this plastic is not going to cause this and if i press down on this like, it should be like that. You can see how the back does stay elevated. Right? You can see how way back here it stays. It stays elevated. And that's okay. The, but the fact that this won't go all the way down and stay flush against this. 
that is absolutely going to cause all of this back, this board to sit crooked and it'll never, it'll never open and close properly ever, ever, ever. If I can't figure out how to get this right here back down to normal, you think to yourself, oh, well just, you know, just pull it off and put it back. Well, it's all part of this plastic up underneath here. It's all part of this plastic and stuff. It's all part of this plastic here. And if you start snapping this off, it'll never be right. It'll never, never, never be right. I mean, you're going to have to tear... I'm going to tear all these gears up and everything. To, well, tear them up, but take them out. No, 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 no. Something is just not right here. This is why I'm thinking, like... Is this a reject? From the factory? Oh, fuck. Tell me that gear's not broken. Okay. It's not. But I... For being as old as this is... I don't see a bunch of shit in here like I normally do. Like, normally you see all kinds of craziness up in here. Again, I'm not relying on the fact that it's new, but it's almost like this was... Out of, came out of the factory fucked up and maybe just didn't get a very useful life. It didn't get used very often and it just it failed almost instantly and it's just been sitting around forever. I just want to get that locked in place here. Because, yeah, if I don't figure out what in the hell has happened here... Because even this is even this part right here that's broken, that's 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 flush. This piece here, that's flush to the the frame, but this is not. And that's all part of this here, all part of this plastic, all part of, you know, this here. Like even if I make that flat. Like, nor that to me looks straight, but that is what's straight, and that is super, super crooked. That is not right. Or is it just because the it's been like that for so long that the plastic is warped? Who in the fuck knows? But that will never, never, never sit right. Yeah, that is, that is... Super crooked. Sorry. I was just holding on to this and just looking at the angle of this piece here. It, mm, 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 mm. I mean, sure, I can get it back like that, but the fact that there's a little tiny gap back here that I can get this under, like I can move that, no problem. I, I seriously do not have to put any pressure on here just to lift that. I can get underneath it. And that's just not right. This could be tricky, boys and girls. This could be tricky. This might be a tricky one to repair. I'm a bit of an idiot as well. So I was just moving that drive out of here, the second drive, because I noticed that, yeah, this is missing too. There's pieces here missing as well. So I was like, oh, shit. Like, and I would just flip the drive over so I could look at the other side. Fuck, I look in here. Fuck, even th this is snapped off, too. This piece has been snapped off of... there. This piece is snapped off. That's right. I didn't even notice that this was snapped off the, dr off the drive. Holy shit. Fuck, no wonder this thing didn't open and close properly. What else is in here that I didn't notice at first? Uh, I guess we know what was rattling. <laughs> Fuck. So let me get this. Uh, let me get this over here because I don't want to lose those pieces. I'm gonna need that. Uh, this one too. Let me get that over there. At least we have them. I just want to see. Is there anything else rattling around in here that I need to know about?
Okay, well, where the hell did that piece go then? This top piece. Everything else is in here except for that. No, oh, there's one of those little pieces. Of, there's one of those little circle pieces. One of these. I see it right there. I don't know where my tweezers are. Um, let's see if I can't get it out with this. There's one of those little circle pieces. I don't know where the fuck that belongs. Let's see if we can't figure that out. Oh, that's probably part of this back here. I know you can't see what I'm talking about. Well, I don't think you can. Back here, that's one of those. That probably belongs right there, that little circle piece. Probably belongs right there. Because that's all like, I think this is all injected molding into this frame, right? What else do I see in here? Lord knows, there's probably more. Give me a second here. Just want to give it a good little shake here. Anything else want to come out and play? here no okay yeah not that I see what the fuck is that what in the fuck is that down there big big huge dead bug like massive. <laughs> oh, I think that's a cock dead cockroach. Oh, it is. Gross. Big old dead rocho. I don't know if it'll focus, but that's definitely a roach. So we'll get that fucking disposed of. Yeah, that's definitely a roach. <laughs> Fuck. And that's always the scary part about doing repairs like this. You don't know what the fuck is in these fucking things. Yeah, but that's definitely a El Rocho. So we'll get that out. Sorry, so we'll get that out of there. Um, gross. Um, yeah, again, okay, I don't see anything else. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to have to do is maybe I don't want to pop this off because that's that's going to cause some issues. This is all wrong now. Fuck. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. And again, just to reiterate what I'm saying here, if, if I can't get that back to where it's supposed to sit, I don't know if you can tell, but look at how crooked that gear sits. Can you really see what I'm talking about there? How that'll never sit right? Like you shouldn't be able to do that. You should not be able to do that. That should be way, way, way more secure than that. Should never be able to push that down and could do all that. No effing way. Okay, so it's the next day here. And uh, back to this. I swear this gets worse and worse the more I look at it. Not only is this like crooked, whatever, but it's also not just busted here. It's actually busted there as well. I don't know if you can see in there also busted off of here and here I'm like uh oh so uh, I don't exactly know 
how in the hell I'm going to remedy this because this has just taken such a beating. Oh, yeah, you can really see it with the light on, right? Just how off that is. I mean, it is... the the It just doesn't want to sit right at all. It's not like, you know, you... It's loose, right? It's loose and busted up. And if you press down on it, it something's stopping it from going back to its normal position. Like, for example, uh, like it's like this too. It's like it's like the plastic has just been like this for so long that it's this it's leaning. This right here is definitely leaning. It's like the plastic has been warped for so long that. It's stuck like that. It's just been, it's got memory, right? From being bent like that. I wouldn't doubt that this is something that has just been like this for so long that this is going to be, I, I really don't know what to do. Because if I go ahead and start putting all this back together, if it's not sitting right, it'll it'll never work right. It'll never, ever, ever work right. Yep, so this is just through the lens here. And this just gets worse and worse. It's cracked all over here. All across here. All across here. When I... It might be better without it, though. You can see where it's cracked. Not only is it cracked there, something quite strange is going on here. There's the other crack, right? When I flip this over, I'm trying to keep that in shot as much as I can. When I flip this over and I look inside here, let me get it turned around here. You can see just how much of this is just broken away. Let me get the light on here. Now you would think, one would think, that if you just pressed up on the bottom of it, right? Let's see if I can do that while in shot. That, uh, there, my finger's on it. Press up on it, it would just fall back into place where it snapped, right? But it won't go back into its original position. This... Where's my little, uh, my little thing in here? Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. There it is. You would, one would think that these pegs right here were obviously attached to this, and they were. They absolutely were. But if I lift that, right, there's definitely room for that to go up in it, that peg right there, to go up inside that hole. But it won't. It just, it will not. And it's not that it's not hitting the right spot or, you know, it's like, look at, you can see my fingers through that, through that hole there. That's just, not this hole down here. Not this one down here. But up through here. Like, that's just how far off it is. I don't understand why that will not go back into place like it's supposed to. It is, it is so bad, and you know, that's the worm gear, right? And if that, if that just, if that's not sitting right, it's, you're done. You're screwed. And there's no replacing that because it's all attached to all this plastic on here, especially this, which is where that big gear, uh, wherever the hell I put that, just for example, that right there gets screwed onto. So you can't just take this all out. And put it all back together. It just it does not work that way. It almost feels like when I've checked, it almost feels like something is jammed. Where am I here? Sorry. It almost feels like something is jammed up underneath here, but I don't see anything. Like something is stopping. that right there from get from going back to where it should like it just it will not oh man 
is that bad? I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. Okay, so I think I got it figured out. So this is going to be hard to film, so you got to bear with me here. I can get that one to get up inside. This is going to be difficult to film, and I'm sorry. Like, literally, I have to put this up through my, uh, you know, like, look at the setup here. I got to I gotta do so I can get down over top of it to see exactly what's happening. And what I can tell is, yeah, I can get that peg right there. I can get that peg into that one if I press hard enough. The problem is there's one way in the back here. Mm, how am I going to show you guys this? Give me two seconds here. Let me see if I can bring that off and then do it this way. Yeah, that's easier. I may lose the focus here, so you got to bear with me. Can you see that one right there? Right there. That one right there is it's not just sheared it's kind of like melted so it's got a big blob on the end of it that won't go through its original hole like this one i'm gonna have to figure out a way to cut this off can you see that down in there i know it's i know it's difficult see how it's like uh rolled over sorry and it won't go back in to its original hole because it's rolled over like that. That's what's stopping it from getting back up. Now, let me just see if I can zoom out here. You gotta remember, I'm doing this with one hand here, right? If I get it over enough, I can get... That's gonna be difficult. Give me a second here. Let's get that to stay focused right there. I can get that yeah it's definitely that rolled over piece it's a hundred percent it's that rolled over piece if I mess with this enough I can get it over and and, and it will it will click into place and it will it will lay flat but I got to get rid of that rolled over piece so that I can get all this this part of the plastic up to the frame here I don't exactly know how I'm going to accomplish that and get that piece off of there, that rolled over piece. Let me see. Give me two seconds here. I'm just going to take you off cam. Let me see if I can't just get that over and click into place. I think you heard that. Boom. That is in place. I know that's difficult to see. See if I can't focus in. That is definitely in place, but you can see that it's still split wide open and not sitting flush enough because that piece is just so fucking rolled over. I may have to like literally use a hot knife and cut that nub right off so that this will sit again flush. Let me see if I can get this. Yeah, it's definitely that rolled over piece. That is what is stopping it from getting back up in there. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get rid of that rolled over piece and see if I can't get this sit flush and then start gluing this fucking thing back together. Okay, I think I might have done it here. Um, what I Actually, what I had to do was I had to lift this lip up here, lift it all the way up, and cut that right out. Literally cut that peg out. I don't know where it went. I was thinking about uh, like sanding it down, but then I thought, oh, that's just gonna that's just gonna round it over even more, right? The more I do it. So I got my flush cutters in the best I could and cut that off. Well, what that allowed for was let me see if I can't shut that off. Back that way up here and uh, sort of get you in here. Let me see if I can't get around to the cam here and then zoom you in and this is literally the best it's going to get uh, let me see if I can slowly slowly drag in here and keep focus on that you can see now that when I get this over and in the right spot it sits pretty flat now I think we're missing a just a couple of chunks of plastic that's just 
fallen over from time, right? Just over time, but that's flush now. So I am going to, once I get this really lined up and get that glued into place, boom, just like that, right? That, that will suffice and that will stay in place. See how far off it was? That is wild. So I am going to glue this in place and I mean really glue it in place so that, that just does not move. And then do some gluing on the top part here and make sure that none of this, I know you can't see, but none of this stuff here is moving or loose. So we can get this back together and then try it. And I don't even know if this is going to work, but this is the only thing to do because, well, it's just, <laughs> it is what it is, right? I mean, without this piece, this drive is toast. And without all this plastic, it's, it's done for. If you don't at least try this, this whole... This whole frame would be toast. You have no choice but to replace it. And, well, you know, these things aren't, you know, off-the-shelf parts anymore. So we got to do what we got to do here. And, I mean, we got a lot of gluing to do. There is, like, you know, the pegs missing. There is stuff all around here. There's, you know, uh, these pieces here all need to be redone. So let me uh, let me work my magic. Okay, I think I got it. All that's left to do is put it back together and test. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the testing before I glue the other pieces back on, like the leg and stuff, for example. But uh, yeah, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Um, it's a little cockeyed on this side, but I checked my other ones and stuff. Sorry, where am I? I'm way over. I'm way off here. Uh, a lot of them are like that. But what I went by was the fact that it is. flush now right don't let the shadow ruin that for you but yeah that is flush now too and what you see in there is glue and a little bit of baking powder there to soak it up and give it some rigidity um, but yeah that is that is how it's gonna be I mean if this doesn't work, like we said, I mean, pfft, without this, you're screwed. So, um, let me just put you in here for a second. Let me uh, zoom you out. And I think, I think that's going to do it. Uh, a good, a good, how I tested to see if it was like really flush is, uh, I took this here. And you remember that this one here wasn't soldered right to begin with. Like the the pin wasn't all the way through here. And I don't really know how that happened because this was not a cold solder joint. I think it was like that from the factory. And that, you know, in com conjunction with the fact that uh, it took a hit, I think really, really screwed this up. And you'll see now that that now sits nice and flat. Now, I still got that piece to glue in here and once I do and get that snapped in that is damn near bang on and that is resting right on this here and that is flat so I think I think that's gonna do it I really do whether it works or not and holds that's we're gonna see I mean there's not a lot of pressure on these drawers anyways to begin with I think it was more or less the the hit that really fucked this up. Uh, you'll see here that uh, I'll get you over top. You'll see just how flat that is sitting now. Well, not flat, but at least straight, right? Like that's pretty straight. That's as straight as I'm going to get it by eye. I mean, that's just how it's going to work. I guess if somebody was brave enough, you could take all this apart and 3D print it and make new ones and all that stuff, but that's not fucking happening anytime soon that I know of. So, yeah, let me get this all put back together. I am going to glue this side too as well. I just wanted to show you the progress here of what was going on. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to give this a shot. Okay, so just before I solder the motor on, can you see how high that pin is now? compared to what it was look how much straighter that is so yeah that pretty much worked out 
and any little gaps and stuff there were, I filled it with uh, uh, baking soda, just so that you know we got a nice sturdy connection. So none of that, none of that moves. And I am just hoping, I am just hoping that 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 works because this worked here. This absolutely did work. It is nice and straight now. So as soon as I get this all together, oh, I hope this works. Okay, we pretty much got it all back together. I'm going to get all this set up, get the Genesis on, and we'll give it a shot. Now, this might take a few times because, you know, these drawers are so goofy. And I know for a fact it's probably not going to be perfectly aligned the first couple of times because it never is. I've never once put it back together where it's been perfectly aligned right off the bat. So let me get everything put back together here, set up, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I have no idea how this is going to react. Um, if it grinds, i got to shut it down right away because you don't want that. Um, so if I cut the video off real quick, it's because it's gone a little haywire and I'll have to check it out. But here we go. Yeah, I, I expect that. That shit happens. Okay, we're not getting we're not getting anything out of this again. Something just not sitting right there. I know it. Mm, it doesn't want to hit that switch in the back, eh? Okay, give me a second. Let me get it booted here. There's something goofy going on. Okay. I just uh, I just clean this again. I think the issue is that because not the two big screws aren't in the screws aren't holding this all together, it gets a little wonky and stuff. So we should have it here. It should boot. Okay, it does. It still does not want to close the drawer all the way. But I can hear that it's stuck. Of course, that's going to make a noise now, right? But I can hear that now. It recognizes that it's being it's out. It will not go back in. So that's excellent. Right off the bat, that's good, and I don't hear any grinding. Um, so it's just not recognizing that the first switch is being hit. That's all that is, which is okay. I'm okay with that. That's not a bad. That's not a bad start here. So just give me two seconds here. It does look like the tray's sitting a little wonky here, though. So give me a second here. Let me see if I can't figure this out real quick. Okay, so what I'm pretty sure is happening is the two switches, when it comes out, the one on the end here, right, gets triggered. And then the other one has to get triggered the other way. Well, let me turn this on, because I'm going to have to film this and watch this myself. That one right there is being triggered. That's all the way open and that's closed. I don't think that one's being triggered properly. So let's watch this so I can watch it back and just see exactly what is happening here. See if I can't focus in on that a little better here and watch this thing. Yep, see? That one's being triggered, but the other one's not. And that's what's stopping it. It's exactly what it is because I can probably flick that switch. No problem. Yeah, see, I think it's, yeah, I think it's stuck against something there. Which is probably that big black gear at the top there. That's usually what stops it. So it's probably just off a little bit so let me let me get in there and tweak that okay so i think we got a dirty switch because if i just tap it and i mean with when it's closing and gets to the close and i barely tap it boom starts right up now we got another issue something i didn't see jesus there's no fixing that And sure enough, back you out here. I can feel it skip. It gets, it was right about there. 
It was about that far away from hitting the switch on the um, CD board to let it know that it's traveled its furthest, right? And don't you know that that's right where it is? So uh, what I can do, just for shits and giggles sake, these I do know they do sell, right? Like they do sell these. I mean, I don't know if it, is it take its whole rotation to, oh yeah. To get to the end. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can try it out with this. Right? Because I know the teeth on this are good. But, uh, yeah. Ruh row. That'll never... That'll get stuck there and never move. I wish I would have noticed that to begin with. Before doing all that work to this drive. I mean, should I take the chance? Oh, man, does that look... Oh, no, it looks the same. I was say, does that look bent up? But it doesn't. So I guess maybe I can... Uh... There's no building that back. I'll never be able to make that perfect. Not an effing chance. Well, damn. Why didn't I notice that? Okay, I'm going to remove this. Put that one in just for shits and giggles sake. And then... Get it up and running. At least show that it's running. And then if the customer, while he orders a laser for the CDX, if he wants to order one of these for it, then he can as well. So give me a second here. Okay, you guys might think I'm nuts, but I'm going to do it. Since it's only that small of a piece, it's only two teeth. Right? I'm going to completely fill this in with Bondo. Right? And then literally file it down until I have two teeth or what I think and if I screw up I'll just do it again I'm going to attempt this I am I'm going to attempt to rebuild that I don't think it's I don't know if it's going to work or not I mean if you got you got the hardener right I mean it'll it's definitely going to be stronger than these little teeth uh, I don't think I'm worried about that I'm just worried about getting the right gap between the teeth but I might I might be able to do this Okay, so this is what I've come up with so far. So I've got that filled in. Right, and that's pretty good. Now I just got to make some teeth. Now that's going to be the tough part. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do to make those happen, but I got to make that happen somehow. And I think, uh, I mean, I think that's a good attempt. But I'm going to try to, you know, cut some teeth into this somehow. That's going to be a little tough. So what I think makes a lot of sense is to take a working one, or a working one, but one that's not that's going to be so hard to focus on, is to literally get it as lined up as possible with one that's got all its teeth, right? Because there's two sitting here, right? Is to literally get it as lined up as best as I can, all the way around, and I mean triple check, quadruple check, as many times as possible, and then get my tool in there and literally remake oh shit those teeth uh where the hell is my spot now sorry uh because it's on the other side right so this is going to be hard to focus on because it's so come on now can you see that get it lined up as best as possible and then literally cut those out i think i got the height pretty much figured out let me see if i can get that to focus right yeah, it's going to want to focus on the background, right? Maybe better with light on, maybe? And you see that? Just try to get it lined up as good as possible. And then maybe I start just cutting those teeth out of it. See, so it is off a little bit. You can tell it is, well, it seems like it's off a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe it just depends on the angle, right? But yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm going to do. I think I got the height. I filed it down. It looks like I got the height all right, so I just need to take those, those chunks out. 
Okay, I don't exactly know how I feel about this, but let me uh, zoom in here. Yeah, this is going to be a little tough to see, but it looks to me like I've remade those gears. It looks all right. I mean, I'm going to clean it up a little bit more, right, and uh, make it look a little prettier, but I mean, I kind of kind of did it that one's got to go a little deeper right but i did remake those that those teeth again that one there's got to be a little deeper but i mean <laughs> we won't know until i fix it right until i get it done and we still have to i got to clean all these switches which means i got to unsolder all these one two and then the actual laser because that one's the one that's grinding right that's the bad one the real bad one and this one here is bad. The um, the clothes. The clothes and the laser to its limit. The limit switch on the laser and the limit switch on the clothes is bad. So I might as well do all three. Okay, so I've done all three switches. And, uh, I mean, if, if you're ballsy enough like I am, that switch there, you don't even have to take apart anything. You can unsolder it from the other side, pinch the two tabs outwards, and literally pull it out from this way, and then clean it and put it back in. And all I did was just pop the ta uh, the cap, so it's the little plastic thing. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. And you just hold it and pull straight up, and that will expose the two tabs and just clean in between both tabs and then put it back together. But yeah, you can do this without even unsoldering or without having to take apart the drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just want to make sure my work is good, so I'm going to use the good um, transport gear. Right? Let me get this all set up, and we'll see what happens. Okay, you're not going to believe this. Uh, we'll move, remove this. We don't need this right now. But I think I got it. Whoops, whoa, oh shit. I didn't even mean to do that. Well, <laughs> I guess that kind of gave it away, eh? <laughs> do that hang on because i got it all screwed up now give me a second here come on oh yeah so let me uh break down what's going on here now, I am not 100% about a few things here. I mean, do I trust this machine right now? Mm, not really. Not really. But I will say, as soon as I get this shut off here, let me show you exactly what's going on. shielding or anything on this isn't even locked down so what i did was where we left off was those gears right you can see it was on those gears right now that's that's great i wanted to see that that looks all right to me again do i trust it mm, not yet not yet but it does seem to be okay it does seem to be okay the belt is it's done that belt is done. It's beyond done. Let me zoom out for you here. It is crusty. That is done. It just will stay egg-shaped no matter what. If I boil it down and try to make it better, it's not. It just does not work. It is way too, too loose. So what I did, just to see, like, am I sure that I have everything lined up? Right? Right? I went ahead and used oops, one of those little girl, what do you call it? You know when like little girls, they put their little ponytails in those really, really tight. Oh, I'll show you. Those really, really small um, elastic bands. 
right? Which I don't suggest you use elastic bands, but I just had to see if, you know, if I was having that issue or not. Let me see, let me put this back. Let me put this back. Let me put this back real quick. I can't even believe this thing's working after what we seen this thing and the shape it was in and I mean unbelievable so what I did was I used one of these little tiny ones right here and I mean it is small and the reason I went so small was well look at compared to a little difference in size the reason I went so small is because I wanted to make sure I had good tension on it. Now I did go ahead and get one a little, little, pretty much the same size. And I think I have another couple here that are a little bigger. Than the one that's in it, right? You can tell the blue, the red is bigger than the blue and the blah, blah, blah. I think the green one here is actually smaller than that green one if i'm not mistaken again i do not recommend using elastic bands that is not what they're for no those are pretty much the same so oh no it might, might be a little bigger so yeah i mean i do not recommend using that but i had to know before continuing on like is it is the tray just toast is it just done from having it from being so broken that it's just not going to work well no, that's not the case. No, that is not the case. Everything does seem to be okay. And just to show you. See, I still think that's the elastic band thing. There it goes. See, because that time it pulled it up. So I do think it's the elastic band. But again, it is enough to get it up and running. So that is what is going on here. Is now, now it's just down to a belt thing. How I made that gear work, I have no idea. Warning, this disc is for use with a Sega CD system only. So, what I'm going to do is this put this back together. Okay. That's enough of you. Again, once you get it moving. She'll run. I just think these elastics have a little, they got too much stretch to them, right? So if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. <laughs> it won't run, it won't run properly. But yeah, that's what I need to know. Like, yes, this system is worth saving. I can glue all those pieces back together and, you know, make this a whole unit. So he, the customer's already going to send me a new laser for one of the CDXs, right? Might as well send a couple of belts while you're at it because, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, can you hear that? That just is hard as rock. And I think that's just what it is. That egg shape is just so bad that it's it's beyond. But like I said, it does seem to be fully functional. I can't believe that gear is working. That's fucking blowing my mind. That's probably blowing a few people's minds right now. Do I ever want to do that again? Nope. That's the disc, as far as I know. Yeah. 
that could be the gear too. I'm not saying it's not, but it, I think that's the disc. I really would like somebody to make an adapter from here to here so I can have this whole entire thing, two separate pieces. I mean, I probably could make those gears a little sharper, but I don't think it needs it. It seems all right to me. Oh, I don't want this. I mean, it's got to be playing it right now and it goes through this it has to be i i think this is fine i absolutely think this is fine i mean should you throw new gear in it probably i think you can get them for like 10 bucks us or something like that but it is running it is absolutely running now i know this disc is is bad like i know it's it skips and stuff, that's for sure. So I should break out the NHL 94, but I really don't want to hear that shit again. <laughs> See, I mean, it seems to be, it seems to be running just like it should. So I think I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna end this one here and call this one Sega CD Model 1 Video 1. And then we'll move on to the other two that are in the box there and see if we can't figure out what's going on with them as well. So you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Happy to be of help.